First week in November is always a magical time, and even more so when you're headed to Kansas. I've been going out and hunting Kansas for quite a few years now, and that first weekend in November, if everything lines up, that's where I want to be. Last year, went out to Kansas, seen some great deer. Talking about how they've been doing good out in Kansas. And... This week, we're heading out to Kansas, and I got to tell you guys, our Kansas season this past year was, was one that, that I think we'll learn something from. This is not a hobby. It takes one single thought, one single idea, and it grows into a driving force, like a dream that needs to be realized. A feeling that runs so deep, it has to be shared. It takes sacrifice and hard work but in the end, that dream may just become your reality. That's by far the best buck I've ever killed with a bow. And he is down. He didn't go 30 yards. Oh man, we got him, bud. <laughs> First Illinois buck ever. Huntline season three, back on a high note. That's a stud, buddy, that's a stud. He's a giant. Season three starting off with a bang. Lucky 13. Unreal. This here just tops it all off. It couldn't happen any better. I was so nervous. Following the hunt line out to the beautiful country. We're Americans. And we're living out our dream right here. On the hunt line. This week we're heading out to Kansas and I gotta tell you guys, our Kansas season this past year was, was one that, that I think we'll learn something from because we've had so much success out there in the last four or five years. I think we've kind of started to expect it. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, any time that I have told myself when a deer was in front of me that this was too easy. You know, it was the first time I was out and maybe a deer walked out after an hour and I, I had that little thought creep into my mind, said, this is too easy. I have never made the shot when I had that thought. And I think this whole season for the pro staff in Kansas kind of encompasses that idea that you never want to get too comfortable and you never want to take anything for granted because every opportunity is precious. Are you looking for the perfect dental office? Someone who can offer compassionate same day care? Then drive on down to the Huntline Dental Group, where we provide state of the art dental care for less. 
We strive to be your one-stop shop, offering many specialty services, from implants, Sarek same-day crowns, to root canals, dentures, and bridges. Puntline Dental Group, compassionate dentistry just down the road. Here at Diamond R Equipment, we're your number one Mahindra volume dealer in central Missouri. With a five-year powertrain warranty, there is a reason Mahindra is the number one selling tractor in the world. Diamond R Equipment also offers a full line of Woods implements. The Woods Precision Super Seeder is a one-pass planting system that allows multiple seed sizes to be planted at the same time. Diamond R Equipment, your local Mahindra and Woods dealer. Hey babe, I'm going hunting. Oh wait, hon, will you take this to the bank for me? No problem, I sure will. Come on down to Legends Bank, where your business is locally grown. These are all good reasons to choose Rehagen for your geothermal. Customers love that their water furnace geothermal system is low maintenance and environmentally friendly. They were happy to get rid of their noisy, ugly outdoor unit. And they want to save up to 70% on their energy bills. Hi, I'm Cody with Rehagen Heating and Cooling. A water furnace geothermal system will do all this for you and more. Rehagen's has installed over 2,000 water furnace geothermal systems, helping customers across mid-Missouri using natural energy to save on their energy bills. The reason is Rehagen. You know, any time I've had that little thought that this is too easy, I've just, for whatever reason, I've shot through a twig or I've had, you know, I've twitched or flinched or, I don't know, missed the shot. And it just seems like it, it doesn't happen. So I think this whole uh, next two shows, you're in for a real treat because we're gonna, we're not cutting anything out. We're gonna show it like it happened. And, you know, we, we had some great opportunities last year and we had a lot of bad luck. And we also had some missed opportunities that weren't anybody's fault but our own. You know, as crazy as it sounds, we, we were taking it for granted because, you know, the first night I go out and tag out and we lose the video. Next weekend, my video camera uh, falls off the back of the Ranger on a gravel road, I guess. I never found it back. Somebody's probably got it and is laughing at me right now watching the video on it, watching me miss a buck on there, but you know, nevertheless, the camera's gone. We lost the video of this hunt. It was a great hunt. It was Scrag, he was a, a coal buck hit lister that we had named for the last couple of years. And after that, it just seemed like everyone followed suit. That first night out in Kansas that my dad and Sean were out there, they had an unbelievable night of encounters. First week in November is always a magical time, and it was a little bit of deja vu this time. I was headed to Kansas with my good buddy, Sean Wagner. Sean and I are the first two that ever hunted Kansas. We came home with two 10-pointers that first weekend. We were wanting to duplicate that success. I've been going out and hunting Kansas for quite a few years now, and that first weekend in November, if everything lines up, that's where I want to be. But Tim and I, we drove all through the night. We didn't get to camp till about 5 a.m. that morning. And we got there, settled everything in, went to bed and woke up a couple hours later and I was just sick as a dog. I don't know if my body was so weak, but I almost didn't go hunting, but you just know that you only get these so many opportunities a year and that first night was going to be the best. Tim, and Tyler's gonna film me. 
Sean and I each went our separate ways and I was about to have an evening like none other. I've been hunting for almost 50 years and it never ceases to amaze me how excited I can still get. This big buck came up in the bottom of the wheat field and started working his way kind of across one end of it. I was getting great video and was having a great time, but I wasn't too fired up because I didn't think he was coming my way. And then he just starts coming my way on a string, and the old heart goes to thumping. That's when the uh, nerves start getting you, as you will see. Well, I crawled in the blind real early and still real sick. I figured I was just going to take a nap, so I laid down and You'd know it. I woke up, there's 8 ball, there's Route 66, three hours before dark, out in the middle of the field, just picture perfect what you want to happen. Got the camera set up, videoed him for I know at least an hour and a half. And then I finally got my opportunity. Eight ball come from my left side and I had to swing the camera to shoot out the front. Hi, I'm Keith Beck. Here at Beck Motors, we've been in business since 1951. My dad started this company as a small town dealership, and I am proud to say that we have a full service facility. Here at Beck Motors, we have a great sales staff. We have a well-trained service department and over 70 years combined experience. And remember, we have a full service body shop. Our new Ram truck, come in, take a test drive. It'll sell itself. Are you looking for the perfect dental office? Someone who can offer compassionate same-day care? Then drive on down to the Huntline Dental Group, where we provide state-of-the-art dental care for less. We strive to be your one-stop shop, offering many specialty services, from implants, Sarek same-day crowns, to root canals, dentures, and bridges. Huntline Dental Group, compassionate dentistry just down the road. Dust to dust. Expectations are high. And November will be here soon. This buck 
was taken in May. It takes four seasons to harvest a buck. Arrow seed. More for your buck. Truly unique colors. That's what you will find at Carved in Stone. Taking a trip to Brazil has given Carved in Stone an opportunity to bring you hot new colors straight from the quarries. Find these stones only here. Whether remodeling, building new, or just adding some flair in an area of your home, Carved in Stone has the expert staff, newest technology, and now the stone you can't find anywhere else, making your choice easy. Visit Carved in Stone today in Jefferson City or Rala. Got the camera set up, videoed him for, I know, at least an hour and a half. And then I finally got my opportunity. Eight ball come from my left side and I had to swing the camera to shoot out the front. He was right at that 47 yard range and I knew I could make the shot, but I didn't want a chance with Sam and Tyler in the truck on the way. First night, I wanted to get the best video because this deer was, it deserved to have the best video of him. So I elected to pass him. Um, I watched him go off the field up towards the cheat and he kind of mingled up there and I snuck out of the blind. And I knew I didn't bump him because I knew that we still had quite a few days of hunting and we was gonna see him again. And the next time he wasn't gonna get away with it. Man, 46 yards. Shoot him. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Good to know that just a half mile away, Tim Senior would be in the other blind, and he'd have one of the biggest hit lifters coming in. I was wearing a new black hoodie in this box blind, trying to stay dark and undetected. And I didn't remember that the hoodie had a string to tighten the hoodie. Turns out when I drew my bow and released, the bowstring caught the string in my hoodie. And my arrow wobbled high and barely nicked old Cletus's back. Cletus is what we call that big nine, by the way. You know, Dad, I think it's time you found a a different excuse. Two years ago, you used the same one where your bowstring got caught in your sleeve and then your zipper and and uh, I don't know. Cletus lived another day and on and on and I was one dejected bow hunter. So our Kansas season for 2013 begins. That night, Sam and Marcus rolled into camp about an hour after dark and Wag and I were happy to know that the next evening, all we had to do was concentrate on the hunt. The next morning, Sam and I went up to the Wag Woods and had a great encounter with some mature does. We weren't lucky enough to see the bucks, but I needed a little confidence builder after my messed up shot the night before. We decided to do a little herd management. Worked out okay for some backstrap. Well, the next morning was real slow. We didn't see anything. That night we climbed right back up in the same blind we was in the night before. Me and Tyler's getting ready to sneak into the flat pasture. Seen a good eight pointer here last night, probably 150 inch. That's kind of the guy we're going after tonight. Seen a lot of does, small bucks, and lots of turkeys, so we're getting in real early. Like I said, it's only around one, but uh, we don't want them to know we're coming. So we're gonna get in there, settle in, get all our stuff out of the way, make sure we're all good. So uh, Sam and Tim, they went over to the northwest corner and they're setting up and getting up there early too. He's after a big nine pointer. Uh, I call him redemption after last night. He's gonna go give that another try and get him.
Sam and I have a habit of getting in our blinds early in the afternoon and taking a little nap so we're feeling fresh for the evening and we did that once again. So you would have never known what the ceiling of the blind looked like right before we take the long big buck nap. We woke up and there were already deer in the field all around us. Wasn't long before one of them was a really large buck. He worked his way closer and closer and once again the adrenaline starts pumping. You know, all the while on my dad's farm, we are struggling. And we got a buddy hunting on the east side of Kansas the same week Chris was out there, Andy Swartz. And thankfully, Andy came in and he rang the bell and, and filled one of those green tags that were getting away from all of us that we were eating for our dinner. Hey babe, I'm going hunting. Oh wait, hon, will you take this to the bank for me? No problem, I sure will. There you go. Thank you. you have a good day. Come on down to Legends Bank, where your business is locally grown. After a successful hunting trip, you need a knife that is going to perform. Raptor Razor has a set that is going to make your job faster, safer, and cleaner. Both the Big Game Skinner and the Mako knives are lightweight and made from 100% machined aluminum. Raptor Razor knives feature changeable stainless steel blades for easy cleaning. Their handle detaches for left and right handed users. Raptor Razor, gutless skinning and field dressing made easy. Monster Bucks Plus, power the racks. Here at Diamond R Equipment, we're your number one Mahindra volume dealer in central Missouri. With a five year powertrain warranty, there is a reason Mahindra is the number one selling tractor in the world. Diamond R Equipment also offers a full line of Woods implements. The Woods Precision Super Seeder is a one pass planting system that allows multiple seed sizes to be planted at the same time. Diamond R Equipment, your local Mahindra and Woods dealer. You know, all the while on my dad's farm, we are struggling. And we got a buddy hunting on the east side of Kansas the same week Chris was out there, Andy Swartz. And thankfully, Andy came in and he rang the bell and, and filled one of those green tags that were getting away from all of us that we were eating for our dinner. Well, it was the first week of November, we packed the truck up, Left early that morning, we just couldn't wait to get out there and start putting it down. Well, we just showed up in Kansas. Got about a three day hunt coming up. Try to get one hunt in yet this evening. Find out where things are running. We ain't got no stand set up, so I'm sitting next to a cedar tree out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, try to find out where they're running. We can put some stands up tomorrow. Maybe want to come close enough tonight. We'll see. A couple hours into it, lo and behold, here came this buck come out of the cedar trees and it looks like he come right at me. As soon as this deer jumped the fence, I, I knew this ain't gonna work. So I'm standing out in the middle of nowhere on a bucket next to a cedar tree. I just stayed there as calm as I could, quiet. He turned, walked straight up towards me, and as he walked, I had to hit that camera with my bow to keep on keeping him in frame until I got up to where he was at. And 
I didn't think it was gonna work. Man, I've heard about Kansas. First night on a white five gallon bucket, I got a 145 inch deer on the ground. You gotta be kidding me. We just got it done here in Kansas. He just fell down right over there. First buck in Kansas. First night, wasn't even planning on killing him that night. Just kind of happened to come out here to find out where they was walking. And, hey, you just come walking right in here. I did about 15 yards right here. That's it. Kansas bone. First time you do anything is special. My first buck in Kansas, it wasn't supposed to play out like that. But I guarantee I'll be here again. Our, our expectations and our, our season started off on such a high note in Kansas that we knew the no month of November was really going to be our gravy month on season three, and, and it turned out to get pretty slippery. But, you know, we still had more tags to fill and more opportunities to get out there. My dad knew he was coming back later in the year, and I can't wait to show you what happens next week as we head back out to Kansas with my dad, with Chris Sneeders, who you haven't seen yet, and Sean's going to get his opportunity again as well. Captioning provided by 